Have you ever thought of becoming a Roblox developer? Or maybe just want to make some extra Robux? Whatever you are a beginner or a pro, keep watching this video. Because I will let you know everything you need to know to get hired and get your first earnings. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, sub and comment like these people. I am also trying to hit 1000 subs at the end of the year. It would make me really happy if you guys subscribe. Enough japping from me, let's get into the video. First, you have to pick your speciality. This is way better than learning a bit of everything. Most people look for someone that is pro at something and not just good at everything. This is because they want the best quality. They can also hire more people at once and get the game out faster. Maybe you already have a skill in mind that you want to do. But if you don't, the skills are GFX, modeling, scripting, animating, building, graphic design, interface, sound effects, VFX. My skill is building. And in building, I have choose the theme of classic robot style, because that was I love doing the most. I have been building for like 3-4 years now, and I have made over hundreds of thousands of Robux. You can try different types of skills, but you have to find the most you're passionate about and keep doing that and eventually you will get commissions. Next, you have to build a portfolio. It could be a Discord server, a website or maybe just a Google Doc. You need a portfolio because you want to save your work, that you want to share with the people that hire you. For me, as a builder, I have screenshots of building I have built over the years. If you're a scripter, showcase your scripts. If you're a GFX designer, you can showcase your GFXs. In the portfolio, you will also need to have somewhere they can contact you and what your prices are. Moving on to step three, we have to find commissions. What I found most successful is a Roblox Discord server called Hidden Devs. This is a really good server for people who want to get hired because people have new commissions there for you all the time. You can also get commissions from the Roblox Talent Hub or my Discord server, link in the bio. Just be professional, polite and responsive when you're applying for commissions. A big problem I see is that people are lazy and use AI. In my opinion, that is really unprofessional and I hate when people do that. So you want to write everything on your own. Next, you want your application to stand out. Here's how. First, introduce yourself, explain why you are a good fit and share your portfolio. Don't say like, hi, can I help? You want to say like, hi, my name is Antics and I'm a builder with four years experience. I specialize in classic Roblox building style, but I can also do low poly and high poly. Here is my portfolio, then you want to send your portfolio with all your work in it. People can see if you use AI or not, and often people think you're really unprofessional if you use it. After you have done all these steps, you're probably hired now. And now the real work begins. You always want to deliver high quality work because they can and will probably hire you again. You also want to communicate with them and show them the work you are doing under the time you are doing the commission as they might want you to fix something. If you guys are agreeing on a deadline, finish by the deadline, otherwise you won't get hired again or recommended to someone else. A small tip I do is that I stay organized and that will show them that I'm professional. Before we are getting into the last and most most important step, I want to announce to you guys that I have a robust group called Antics and Epica. I would love you guys to join the group, the link is in the description. The group is all about my other series here on YouTube where I'm creating a viral Roblox game. But enough japping, let's get into the last and final step. So, the last and most important step of them all is to find developer friends. This is really important because you will get burned out and you will lose motivation. By founding other developers, you guys can keep each other motivated and help each other out and give you guys feedback. If you want, you can join my server and find friends there. Or another example of a really good server I use is Role Builders in Discord server. Okay guys, and there we have it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment as I'm trying to get 1000 subs at the end of the year. I would love to hear what you guys are working on right now. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.